we live in an era in which climate is evolving and weather patterns become extreme. But at the same time, urban centers expand, population grows. Cities occupy only 2% of the Earth's surface, but they account for 75% of the global energy consumption. We're now thinking much more carefully about distributional impact of technical solutions, and that wasn't always part of our charge. Civil and environmental engineers made cities livable. I think our present challenge is to make cities robust to all the challenges of modern society. At Northwestern, we're taking a systems approach, an approach that really promotes collaboration among our faculty and among our students. It's not just looking at materials and construction technologies, but it's also environmental science, it's also understanding the behavior of natural materials, but also connecting with the communities, having a sense of the social aspects that are intertwined. One of our major areas of focus is understanding how to decarbonize society. How do we move from systems, water systems, energy systems, food systems, that really are based largely around fossil fuels, how do we shift away from that to a decarbonized society? We have the opportunity as civil and environmental engineers to address sustainable development goals, climate action, sustainable cities and communities, access to clean energy, access to clean water. We have sustainable way to recycle nutrients we have sustainable ways to deal with plastics, deal with contaminants. We're conducting a study for the State Department to look at the planning, design, construction, and operation of embassies around the world. We are addressing energy, water, materials, to basically provide them with a pathway to achieve sustainable buildings for the future. The idea is that the infrastructure that we can design and build on Earth, can also be designed and built in the outer space. Civil environmental engineers look at the fundamental questions of how innovation and how new technologies and designs actually land in society and how they make society more livable, more prosperous, more competitive. Discoveries are made at interfaces. They're made in those areas where you mix with others, where you discover new ideas and new ways to look at things. I've never seen a place that has so many centers as Northwestern, and it really facilitates for us to elevate the scope of the work that we're doing, but also expand what we're doing. Staying at Northwestern, I've always been fortunate to work with brilliant colleagues, brilliant students who are passionate, dedicated, and excited about solving these major problems for not only science and engineering, but for society as a whole.